Humanity took tens of thousands of years to settle down. 12,000 years ago, we discovered ways to domesticate plants. 8,000 years ago, we discovered metals. And only 5,000 years ago did we actually start writing things down. Each of these steps helped bring humanity together and build ideas on top of one another. So in this episode, we're going to look at some of the major advancements toward human civilization. One of the earliest and most critical events of human civilization was the migration from Africa. Modern humans are believed to have evolved around 200,000 years ago. For that first 100,000 years, we remained in Africa, until some unexplained sequence of events started forcing us outward. It took multiple generations to survive this journey across the African deserts, and to finally reach Europe and Asia. Imagine walking the Sahara or the Arabian Desert with no shoes, water cans, or camels. Only when we started settling did we have the time and resources to build something that could be passed on to the future generations. Without that first settlement, great ideas would have died with the individual or the tribe. Low population numbers were also an issue in technological progress. Until about 10,000 BC, the world population was estimated between 1 and 10 million people. When you have just a couple of million people scattered across this big wide world, there is little that humanity could collectively build. Along with the small population numbers, we also had a very low life expectancy that only shifted come the 20th century, where it rose from 30 to 71. Imagine if we had all died by the time we reached 30. How much could we learn from our parents and how much could we teach our kids? Given the low life expectancy of early humans, there was little time to learn and teach while trying to survive. One of the biggest turning points in the cultural aspect of human evolution was the ability to control fire, as it allowed humans to cook food and obtain warmth and protection. It also allowed the expansion of human activity into the dark and colder hours of the night, increasing productivity dramatically. Early humans lacked sophisticated tools and domesticated animals until about 50,000 years ago. At this point, the tools were quite crude, which helped a little bit in hunting, but didn't take us very far. We had to wait until 6000 BC to obtain gold, our very first metal. With the discovery of metals, we could tackle a lot more elements, and make more and far more effective tools, which opened up new resources and were more efficient at their tasks. It wasn't until around 3000 BC when we actually started putting our ideas in a pictorial form. Until that point, most of the ideas that humans created had to be passed by word of mouth or they are simply forgotten. Imagine if we had no science books. Each generation would have to discover Newton's laws and all other scientific theories by themselves. With writing, it allowed us to stand on the shoulders of others and strive to obtain better and more advanced technologies. Then, around 4,000 years ago, we discovered the wheel, or actually the wheel and axle concept. This opened up trade routes allowing us to transport products and people between regions. In short, human civilization spent a lot of time in a trial and error mode to find the right places to live and the right things to eat. Given the short lifespans and absence of settlements, ideas couldn't spread, but as we discovered ways to keep us warm and increase working hours, we gained some spare time, allowing us to start putting our brains to a good use. Thanks for watching today's episode. If you enjoyed this content, you might enjoy our other videos, such as humanity's space debris problem, or how a mind-controlling fungus can take over brains. Until next time, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.